everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. You can see real quick in the beginning here, I used a 3D model in Clip Studio to get the angle of the sword correct. It's a super helpful tool. If you don't have Clip Studio though, you can always go for the classic, take a picture of yourself or a friend in that pose. I still do that a lot more often than not so I can get exactly what I want. Anyways, today's prompt was ancient and I didn't have an idea. I'm fresh out of ideas and there's almost two weeks of Inktober left. Uh. My boyfriend suggested Samurai though. And I said, yeah, sure, sounds fun, I'll just do that. And I did. And I had the idea to make the skin look like stone, because he's ancient and stuff, but it just looks gray and smooth and kind of like just gray skin. But I didn't have the time to figure out how to make a rough texture. It'd study stones and rocks and, you know, get all detailed and figure out what brushes to use. And I mean, I'm a pretty slow artist in general, and rushing myself like this for Inktober is killing me, and it's kind of not that helpful. <laughs> But, uh, I learned something really heckin' important because of all this, especially this prompt in general. Backgrounds are super important. They should not be thrown on last minute or forgotten about or treated like an add-on for the picture. No. All of those are wrong. And all of those things are what I've been doing. Why? Because I'm short on time and they scare me. <laughs> But I can't let them scare me. I have to work on them or I'm never going to get anywhere, right? I feel like I've said this before, but <sighs> I guess I'm dumb. I'm a big stupid. But I didn't figure all that out until like the tail end of this video when I stopped recording and I spent three hours off camera trying to think of what to put in the background because I was at a total loss. I mean, and I was still in the like idea of, oh, I'll just do the character because that's all that's important right now is just getting that out for Inktober, but... I have a habit of starting something simple and making it into something really big and epic because I have to. Like, I can't help myself. I get so excited. Or, But I bite off so much more than I could chew. Especially with the time that I have and don't have right now. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's just... Ugh. Anyways, I should have thought of a concept for a background sooner so that I could have incorporated the lighting from the setting to the actual painting of the character. Because that's really important, otherwise it just looks like it's pasted onto the front of the picture. But stupid me didn't because it's Inktober and I don't have time for that. And I didn't think of it. I was just like, yeah, character would be done. But it just didn't look right. I was like, eh, the way I drew him, he looked like he had to be somewhere. I should have just did like a forward-facing picture like in hindsight I know what I needed to do and I'm like kicking myself in the head for not doing it I'll probably redo it later because if I'd have just done a really cool looking forward-facing picture in an abstract background perfect but no I had to do this to make myself miserable <sighs> such is life right <sighs> I wasted so much more time stressing over the background and an unnatural looking character plopped into the foreground than I would have had if I just planned ahead in the beginning. You win some, you lose some, right? I mean, I've been losing most of them, but that's okay, because I'd rather be wrong and learn a lot than be right all the time. There's no fun in that. Anyways, me creating the background wasn't caught on recording, but that's okay, because next piece I'll make a point to work on the background more. It'll probably still just be simple and not perfect, but I'm trying to crap out a piece every day and by no means have the skill to accomplish that in the time given. So, I mean, hey, that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, but I putzed along all slow like and fiddled around with the character that I thought was gonna be cool, but it just ended up like ruining it in the end during my scramble to make him fit into the background. <sighs> this is just gonna be a great reminder for me of what not to do. But I'm happy with how the cracks on his skin turned out. I mean, I like how they look. Just overall, I'm not happy with the lack of polish everywhere, how untidy and obviously I like stopped halfway through and he's just like, eh, not rendered or whatever. But I mean, I freaked out, forgot about the character and started panicking about a background. So, next time, right? Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and follow me on my social media too. There's links below.
Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you again next time and remember to stay creative. Bye.